I'll get started then. Look, thank you all very much for coming. I'm aware there's absolutely tons of uh, events going on in Paris this week, so delighted to have all you beautiful people here uh, to listen to me talk about uh, servers.com and the products that we've built uh, for Filecoin. Um, so, a little bit about myself. Oh, well, you don't need that to learn about me. Um, so, obviously, my name is James. My role at servers.com is to be the Web3 specialist, so I manage all the relationships with our Web3 blockchain customers. Uh, been working in the technology industry for about 10 years in various different roles uh, and joined servers.com as the Web3 lead about two years ago. Uh, first got exposed to crypto just before the 2018 crash when I lost loads of money. And if you're good at maths, you'll have worked out uh, that I joined this role just before the 2022 crash. So obviously timing is my strong suit, uh, but we'll work on that. Um, so you can't see the title anymore, but the, the title of this presentation is Data Centers On Demand. Just to provide you a little bit of context, context around that, as I've been speaking to people from the Filecoin ecosystem, everyone seems to refer to their solution as a data center. Uh, and there's a lot of pains and you know, trials and a lot of learning that goes into setting that up. So we figured out a way to give you that product on demand uh, when I'll explain exactly how that works in a second. Uh, the presentation's in, in Chrome. Okay, so I'm now realizing the, tech, the technical drawings probably aren't going to be very effective, but uh, if you want to see those afterwards, just, just let me know. Okay, there we go. There we go. Cool. So before I get started, let me just get a, a quick show of hands. Who here is, is currently a storage provider? Hey, a couple of you. And, and who here is sort of, you know, dipping their toes in the water considering becoming one? One. Okay, great. Well, you, sir, are in the right place. Uh, we're at, well... So we've, uh, we've built this because we think that this, we're confident that I should say that this is the fastest, easiest, and uh, probably the cheapest way to enter this ecosystem. Um, so yeah, absolutely in the right place. So a little bit of context around servers.com. Uh, I'm sure most people here are pretty familiar with infrastructure as a service uh, and all the various kinds of hosting providers out there. So I won't bore you to death with loads of features. Uh, but we were founded in 2015, uh, and the reason we exist is because our founders uh, identified what they thought of as a gap in the hosting market. Uh, on the one side, you've got sort of the traditional co-location model, and then on the other side, you've got the, the hyperscale cloud. Uh, co-location obviously is, is great if you have the skills and the resources to set that up, and it gives you, you know, probably the best latency out there as well. Uh, so that's great. Um, and then on the other side, you've got the hyperscale cloud, which is very slick, very fast, but also very expensive. Uh, and we really try to be sort of uh, in the best of both worlds, somewhere in the middle, providing what we see as dedicated servers in a cloud-like fashion so we can spin up your dedicated machine uh, in, in less than 40 minutes. Um, I'd love to tell you that our network and everything was designed for Web3 and, and maybe even Filecoin specifically. Unfortunately, that, that is not the case. Uh, our business was originally set up to service uh, the video games industry, uh, an industry that requires uh, very low latency and very high bandwidth. So that's really the, the genesis of our network. And the way our architecture was designed was to be able to give our customers uh, the lowest latency possible with the biggest pipes possible in order to service uh, gaming customers uh, all around the world. Um, but as it turns out, having big pipes with low latency is also a great fit for other industries as well. Uh, and over the years, we've sort of accumulated customers from industries like streaming, ad tech, you know, iGaming, and most importantly to everyone here, I'm sure, Web3 and blockchain. Uh, there's a few examples on the screen of the kinds of customers that we work with, and it really runs the full range uh, of Web3. So we, we host with you know, staking pools, RPCs, validators, you know, wallets, payment platforms, you, know, you name it, we, we work with them. Um, so, yeah, so very keen on this. And as I said, I am the Web3 specialist, so we are in currently investing. Where our R&D is fully led by all of our customer demand. Um, so we're investing in this space and adapting our products all the time to make it more and more attractive uh, to this industry specifically. So how did the partnership with Filecoin come about? Well, when I started this role, I had a lot to learn about Web3 in general. Uh, and I was attending a conference in London uh, a couple of years ago when I was doing my absolute best uh, to sell some servers to a, to a CEO and a founder at that event. And he was basically stopped me midway through the conversation, was like, look, sorry, James, we're all set for Ethereum nodes. Uh, do you have anything that can run Filecoin? Uh, and I, 
I'll be honest, I hadn't heard of Filecoin at that point in time, uh, but so I decided to you know, do some research because he said it was a big project and he had lots of friends who were looking for, for the right kind of hardware to host that. And pretty quickly, I was like, you know, okay, these guys, they're working with MIT, they're working with Harvard, you know, they're even working with CERN on the Large Hadron Collider, hosting data for that. So pretty quickly worked out that this is actually one of the most sort of sophisticated and I would say impressive ecosystems in all of Web3 and blockchain. Uh, you know, very serious about what they do, very technical. And you know, when I reached out to them and they said that, yeah, actually, we are really keen to work with a company like servers.com, which is obviously everything that a salesperson wants to hear when you reach out to a new company. Um, but I realized that they were really trying to, to change the way that the internet works, change the way that we as a society interact with our data, which has become you know, the new gold, the new oil, as people say. Uh, and they're trying to transform the way we work with that. Um, but I think the, the main reason why the partnership with Filecoin came about was because what I've gathered is that the people at Filecoin and, and Protocol Labs as well are really trying to remove as many barriers as possible uh, for the ecosystem. Uh, to make that path to becoming a storage provider as attractive and as easy as possible for new people coming in. Um, and you know, we believe that we can do this faster, cheaper, uh, and more effectively than with the current models, uh, and that's going to make everybody in this room who's invested in Filecoin have a bigger return on their investment, uh, is ultimately our goal here. And if you want to know why we were interested, well, anything that screws over Jeff Bezos is, is just fine with us. So wh why should anybody in this room care? Well, I mean, I think the, the answer to that is pretty simple. Our goal is to, to make Filecoin and Filecoin storage providers profitable faster than ever before. Um, you know, I'll explain exactly how we're going to do that later because it, it might sound a little bit ambitious, but you know, that's really the mission uh, that we've got behind this. So the first way that we're going to do that is eliminate the learning, some of the learning curves. Uh, you know, we are a dedicated hosting provider, so we're not going to do everything for you, uh, but you know, when it comes to setting up your own colo data center, you know, everyone has to learn how to, you know, first of all, choose which data center you're going to use. And you have to have physical access to that data center, which limits the, um, the, the location redundancy of your, of your stack. Uh, you also need to know how to set up the networking, the bandwidth, make deals with remote hands, you know, fix anything that breaks. Well, we can do all of that for you, okay? So you can just focus on the fun part of actually running and becoming the most effective storage provider possible. Well, our experts handle all of the hard work and the boring stuff like the maintenance and the switches and the networking and all of that. Based on um, information we've received from Filecoin uh, and Protocol Labs, it currently takes around six to 12 months uh, to get set up as a new, uh, in a new co-located data center. Uh, we can achieve the same in, in about six weeks. Um, so six, within six to eight weeks from ordering your hardware, uh, you will have your storage solution up and running very quickly. And I'm sure everybody in this room knows when you're setting up a business, time to market is key. There's not many people out there who have the, the resources and the, and the space and everything necessary to uh, to you know, invest in a project, buy loads of hardware, and then have that sitting somewhere waiting uh, to be up and running for as much as a year. Uh, so by doing this, we can open the doors to as many different people as possible, bring new people into the ecosystem, and hopefully increase the number of storage providers dramatically. And our model is uh, OPEX only. So as infrastructure as a service, there is no capital investment required upfront to get started. Uh, you won't need to take out a loan. You won't need to dip into your own investor funds to get this going. There's a monthly fee, very simple, uh, which means that, again, you know, the people who don't have access to those kinds of capitals will be able to get into this Filecoin ecosystem and start hosting and you know, start storing data. Uh, and I'm sure you all guys all want to know sort of exactly how much it costs. Well, in terms of the leanest possible solution, uh, we can do this for as little as $2,300 per month. Uh, and that is you know, pretty lean, pretty effective, but it's, it's a great way to get new people into this ecosystem. And more storage providers ultimately means a more competitive, competitive marketplace uh, for storage deals, better prices for the storage clients, which will hopefully bring new clients into the ecosystem um, and all of that good stuff. So how does our solution actually work? Well, we partner directly with the solution architects uh, at Protocol Labs, so, you know, some of them are here in the audience today. Uh, to predefine uh, all of the specs necessary, uh, all of the different pieces and elements necessary to run your Filecoin storage solution from both the compute and the storage side of things. Uh, and these are you know, enterprise Dell chassis with uh, next generation AMD CPUs, NVIDIA GPUs, all handpicked uh, by Protocol Labs in, in battle-tested configurations. Uh, you know, these configurations are very similar to the, to the ones that are currently being out there in the ecosystem, so we're not reinventing the wheel. Uh, you will know it works, and you can rely on that. 
And uh, because the, the way that we've designed this solution, it is modular, uh, so we have the capacity, we have the hardware necessary to scale your solution to any size. Um, so, you know, depending on, no matter what your budget is uh, or what your ambition is, you know, we can match that. Uh, and you can have a storage solution, you know, as I said, any size, suitable for any budget uh, or any kind of uh, someone who wants to be a storage provider. Uh, we can also connect seamlessly with the rest of the ecosystem. Um, so, you know, I know that Protocol Labs have been worked very hard on their one-click Lotus deployment. You know, that integrates perfectly with servers.com. We can integrate perfectly with Ceiling as a service providers like Aligned uh, to make your solution as lean and as cost-effective uh, and as uh, technically effective uh, as humanly possible. So I'm aware that the uh, audience here is probably pretty technical, so I thought I couldn't go without giving you sort of a, a look at some of the, the architecture. Um, so this architecture was predefined uh, and designed by the guys at Protocol Labs. We worked with them, uh, and this is a pretty lean setup. Um, and you know, the backup stuff is recommended but optional. Um, so you could do this purely with you know one server uh, and the storage all provided by servers.com. Uh, and here's just another example of a, a slightly bigger solution. Uh, the only difference really is that the daemon and the boost are split into two servers. But all of these parts are predefined, pre-configured for you, and ready to go pretty much at the click of a button. Cool. So that's, that's it. That's me. Um, if you want to get in touch, I'll be around in Paris all week. So feel free to grab me if you want a coffee or, or even a beer, preferably. Um, but yeah, you're available on any of these times. I have all the pricing, all the specs, all the hardware uh, on request if anybody needs it. Um, so yeah, ready to get started. And uh, I guess open the floor to some questions if anybody has them. Cool. I'm just going to assume I answered everybody's questions during the presentation then. Yeah, cool. Yes, it is ready to roll right now. Uh, so we could deploy this uh, from the moment of order within six weeks. Perfect. Well, let's, uh, let's go grab a beer. Thank you very much.